Hey, my friends, Derek here from Bomb Socks with a new week of Bomb Bites where we feast upon the words of Christ and we do it one bite at a time. So this week, we've got a crazy adventure through the book of Exodus. You got Exodus chapter 7 through 13. Now, just as a little bit of a review, let me go back to Exodus chapter 1 through 6. Just kind of an overview here. Exodus means the journey. So you've got Israel is enslaved. They're put into bondage. They're made to suffer under tremendous burdens by Pharaoh in Egypt. God raises up a great deliverer to get Israel out of Egyptian bondage. And so what we talked about last week is how there is a story within the story here to where you and I are the children of Israel and we are stuck in this crazy world of wickedness, which is represented by Egypt in uh, the book of Exodus. And what happens? We're enslaved. We're focusing so much on the world. And Israel was never meant to be a slave to Pharaoh. And again, if Egypt represents the world, Pharaoh can certainly represent Satan and the wickedness that's in this world. And so what does God do? He raises up a great deliverer to be able to help Israel get out of the bondage of the world. Because again, we were never meant to be slaves in this world. So what then do the children of Israel need to do to show Pharaoh that they will no longer be slaves in Egypt? Well, if you go back to chapter 4, which we talked about last week, you've got Moses, who has been emboldened to stand before Pharaoh. And back in chapter 4, the Lord commanded Moses to say, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. Let my son go, that he may serve me. And then you've got some of the most iconic words of the Old Testament, made famous by Charlton Heston in the Ten Commandments. Let my people go right? And of course, Pharaoh responds with, no, we're not going to do that. In fact, we're going to make stuff harder on you in this world. So let me fast forward now to chapter 12. There is a verse in chapter 12 that I think kind of is a, is a summary of what the next three days that I'm going to share with you here. It's Exodus chapter 12, verse 12, where the Lord uses the phrase, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. And so as we go through this week, you're going to see these crazy things called plagues, all right? Now, the definition of the word plague, it's a disastrous evil or affliction, a large number of harmful or annoying things. So as we go through the next few days, you are definitely going to see how the Lord executes judgment against all of the gods of Egypt to be able to get Israel out of Egypt. Because again, Israel was never meant to be a slave. Israel is meant to be different from the rest of the world. And in order to make a difference in the world, you have got to be different from the world. Israel was never meant to be able to fit in with the world's standards and to be able to just blend in with the rest of the world. We were meant to stand out and we were meant to be different to make a difference. So in order to do that, the very gods which are holding us captive in this world do need to be destroyed. Welcome to the next couple of days of Bomb Bites where we share with you what these crazy plagues are all about. So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for sharing these messages. We love that you do that. Go please check out our amazingly comfortable gospel theme socks at bombsocks.com. You guys are great. Godspeed. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.